Hi, my name is Steven Greider, and I hope you are as excited as I am for getting started on learning React and Redux. In this section, we're going to start off by doing a little bit of administrative work. So we're going to talk about what we're going to learn. We're going to talk about how to get help as we go through this course. Let's start by talking a little bit about our goals and methods for learning Redux. You know, a little bit about how this course is going to be structured. I'm looking at a Trello board here with a couple of very high level tasks for the first two major sections of this course. The first thing that we're going to do is get a boilerplate project. We're not going to start off totally from scratch for our first project. We're going to start off with a little bit of a head start. We're going to use this head start to get a lot more familiar with React. If you're not familiar with React yet, don't sweat it. We're going to go through it all the way from the basics to advanced level. Once we're more familiar with React, we're going to talk a little bit about general data modeling. You know, how do applications get put together? How can we think about them? And once we've talked about that and we've got a better handle on how to model applications, then we're going to start to delve into Redux. If you're already familiar with React, I still recommend you at least skim through these sections. We're going to talk about a lot of very new concepts like ES6 and a lot of other advanced React topics. And I just want to make sure that even if you are familiar with React already, you've got a solid foundation, a solid base to go into the Redux content. So let's talk a little bit more about one other topic, and that is how to get help. These are the best resources for getting help for me during this course. If you have any questions about anything, you know, any errors pop up, you don't know why they're popping up, some content is unclear, maybe I misspeak in some section, you know, whatever it might be. The best way to get in contact with me is via email or Twitter. You can see my email right here at the top. Whenever you email me a question, if it's a question that involves troubleshooting your code, let's say, you know, you're getting some error message, you don't understand why it's popping up, I can definitely help you troubleshoot that if you email me. Just make sure when you email me, you include your project or the relevant files. The number one thing that I am going to do whenever I help you troubleshoot is look at your code. So if you email me and you include your project files, I'll be able to run your code and troubleshoot whatever issue you have, and I can really help you solve the issue. If you have really quick questions, you know, maybe one small topic is a little bit confusing, Twitter is a great place to get in contact with me. In general, I check my email and Twitter about once or twice a day, and I usually sit down and do a mass, uh, you know, about 30 minute section session once per day to answer any questions for all my courses. So if you reach out to me, give me at least 24 hours and in general I'll be able to get back to you. Finally, you can find a ton of course resources on my GitHub, which is github.com slash Steven Greider. One item to note is that when you're looking at my GitHub profile, notice that I've got a lot of different re repos with the words React or React Cast or something something React in the title. Always be aware that, or always make sure that you're looking at the correct repo when you clone it. I've had several people accidentally clone the incorrect repo, and then they get a little bit confusing because the files that they pulled down are not the same files as the ones that we're talking about in the video. So whenever we pull from a repo, just double check on the title, make sure it's the same one. Okay, so now that we got the administrative stuff out of the way, let's get started in the next section.